Well, in my early days, we had a, what we called the country house dance, where all the neighbours accumulated with Sunday night or holiday night, and we had the crossroad dance in the summertime. And then De Valera got into power, and he kept the annuities that were supposed to be paid to the English government. He kept back the annuities and they put a tariff in everything that we sold. And prices fell down to the dirt. You might go to six fair before you would sell a cow or a bullock. And then people had a lot of turkeys and geese and no one to buy them. And there were people going around with loads of meat around trying to sell it. It was an awful time to have money very scarce. Well, they started to organise tournaments. There'd be car play for three geese, or three turkeys, or maybe three bonnets, or bull calf. And there's play everything in the country house. Well, if we made five pounds the night of that tournament, you were lucky. To the shilling, a man. The girls were free in some places, and sixpence in other houses. But if you could say you called a five pound out your own, you were lucky. And you had to make money somewhere, you had to pay the priest and you had to pay rent and rates. And the fairs were deadly. And there was an odd stat of the IRA at the time. They wanted the 32 counties of Ireland united. And there was an odd organisation started, which failed. And the government thought that some of the money that was made in the farmers' houses was going to legal organisations and they passed a law forbidding all country house dances. And the country house was the place where we learned to play music, to sing and to dance. It was old school. Well then the Dance Hall Act was passed about 1935 or 6 and the clergy had a charge of the dance hall and there was three pence to the shilling tax paid to the government out of every ticket that was going into the dance hall so the priest would make the money and so did the government and our traditions were trampled on we had nowhere to go to play music we couldn't fit in with the hall where they had foreign stuff jazz, fox tots and things. And a lot of the young boys, musicians and dancers immigrated to England in the And there were very few people left to carry on their traditions and the Irish culture. So music was almost gone. And courses called Tori and started an organisation. And they brought whatever musicians were left together and it started from there, and thank God, it has come back again, better than ever. But our school was the country house dance, and if to lift alone, there'd be no need of courses. Yeah. Hey.